Peace, peace, family. So I'm back with another one. Today what I want to do is I want to talk to my chosen ones about how money does not equate to having all the answers or all the solutions, you know. A lot of people put more value on money than the creator and the actual substance that you are supposed to be pertaining and the value you're supposed to be holding within, you know. And for a lot of us in the Western world, we have a hard time listening or intaking food or information from other beings who are on our levels or appear to be on a lower level or not much higher up. And it's weird that, you know, this has become such like a prevalent thing in today's society considering that people use a lot of resources for demonic methods because I don't ever want to say like money is evil because it's not the money that's like saying the gun is evil or the gun is bad and it's the actual being or the entity that's using it so when it comes to feeding ourselves, like information thoughts ideas all of these kinds of things that kind of make us who we are. We should be more willing to intake the information from the beings around us. Especially if we know that some of these beings are pretty knowledgeable in their field. And even if they aren't as knowledgeable in their field, you know, and you haven't been diving and doing no research, it doesn't hurt to intake new information especially if it's not coming from a demonic space you know and that has a catch-22 because we can even learn from that darker demonic energy over there but I also know that that plants witchy seeds so I, I would much rather be in God's mode and then have open perspectives from God's mode opposed from this demonic perspective and then having to switch it and twist it all the way around you know but what kind of dove me into the subject today was you know just even when we are researching and learning and looking around at different things like you'll see beings like that just randomly pop up out of nowhere like i've been in the youtube world for a while even before i put myself out there in front of youtube i've been watching and tapped in so for me i never saw beings like jordan peterson and all these other beings that's kind of been popping up and I know he's been around for a little bit a couple years digitally or whatever you know what I mean but it's like people take his source of information with more validity than the beings around them because the money seems to give you more status in western society now doesn't matter to them what you did to get the money or what kind of being you are it's just from the outside looking in that gives you status so we see this being with a little bit more status on these bigger platforms and stages and we're more inquired and more in tune to be willing to listen to this being opposed from the ones around us now when you actually process that thought process you have to realize how brainwashed you have been because now you're put in a spiritual space of understanding, okay, well, I can only take information serious when it's coming from a structure built like this, which is the structure you saw your entire life, which is the structure I saw most of my life as well too, you know what I mean? So getting outside of the systematic structures and these beings and these people that they put in place of us and not even just pointing at him we can put anybody in that place you know depend on what you listening to what you tap into how you choose to feed yourself but i have learned way more valuable information like pop quiz information from the beings around me you know whether in my personal space or whether i was traveling around in some spaces and i ran into some beings in real lifetime and we engaged a little bit more so than when i sit down and i tune some of these other beings on and it's like i'm studying for test time quizzes and tests are different so 
you have to be fast on your toes either way it goes but my point that I'm making is is like you shouldn't have to have a super large bag for you to be moving more righteously in God's light for the people around you to want to intake the food that you're feeding especially when they know that it's not coming with any ill intentions it's not coming with no strings attached to it it's not coming with no blood sacrifices it's not coming with any of that witchy shit you know what i mean so for me when i when i take these perspectives into place i guess i gotta say it weighs something because I eventually got my ass out here in front of the camera as well too and I'm not nobody with no big bag but for me I always been a fighter so from every area or angle I could figure out how to fight the good fight I'm gonna figure it out you know what I mean so and even before I knew it was a good fight I just knew I was fighting for some principles and morals that I didn't really know that I was standing on which was why the creator was pushing me and, and being so supportive of the process you know what I mean and the thing is with like feeding yourself information because we say listening but really you're feeding yourself so you can interpret that however you want to interpret it but i always like to interchange but i know i'm feeding my i know i'm feeding myself with what i listen to i know i'm feeding myself by what i choose to focus my eyes on you know outside of the obvious of what I'm feeding myself you know physically through my mouth so just understanding a lot of these things like it's it's hard to get past so if you are trying to figure out how to beat the hardest game or to take on the hardest team You have to figure out their strong points and then you have to figure out their weak points. Most people is not focused on this because they just like, ah, I'm just going to go with the flow wherever the wind blows. I may go. You know what I mean? But I'm not one of them beings. I'm like, I'm one of these trees out here. I'm just a, a, a mobile tree. So the trees, I call the trees phone landlines and I call the human vessels mobile phones you know what i'm saying we the mobile energies that's able to just project and vibrate and do way much more than what we are told and taught these trees do the same thing they're just landlines you know they're doing their thing from a stable position so Let's put it this way. Say you growing up in the house and you know all of our authorities is usually moms, parents, elders, whoever is watching us, right? And you want to figure out how to beat them. It like maybe you just want to go out or maybe it's something you want to do or maybe it's something you need, but you know you can do it yourself, blah blah blah. They just making it more difficult for you. You are going to figure out a way of how to wiggle around that process so that way you can get the outcome that you are looking for. That may be a selfish means at that, that time or that day and age in your life, but for the bigger picture, it's the same thing. There's no way to move the system in a different direction if you're moving with it. That it wouldn't be possible. So you have to do the opposite. So in my world, I know that the system likes to put everybody with money up first so that way if they control the substance on what they get to use to put people up front then it doesn't matter if these people are moving more righteous or in a godly light you know what i'm saying they know humans not the spiritual beings they know that the humans the vessel is going to respond to their environment how they've been programmed and how they're going to react to listening or taking in some food or information from this other kind of being i listen to my own daughter not saying like i'm asking for her opinion and all these things but when she decides to share certain things or we are having our deeper conversations because we go out on trail hikes all that shit. 
You know, I don't treat her like she's retarded or disabled. I treat her like she's more intelligent than most. So, if I put her up here, and even if she lowers herself some, she's still above the average. <laughs> so, you have to set the standards higher so that way they can create their own, which is, we all find a comfortable space for ourselves. You just don't want to get too in your own space that it is it drops below the creator and it goes to the demonic shit you know what i'm saying because up here at the top is the almighty you got the creator right there and once you start going a little bit low that's where you creating your own thing at but then it's a level like a zero where it gets even at say this is zero and then this is a hundred then you get to zero then you got negative a hundred you don't want to get to that zero or anywhere but around there that's that zero to a hundred that's where oh we got open perspective open perspective this yes we do when you moving in god's light but when you talk in that demon language i don't fuck with that shit and i will never give that shit any space with me over here that's all i'm saying i'm i'm this way in real lifetime and a lot of being i done lost out on a lot of cheeks i done lost out on a lot of homeboys you know what i'm saying i'm lost on family members just because if you following the natural flow the creator god's flow then it, it, it wouldn't be no friction with us so for me, it's always in this weird space of like, it's roller coaster. You know you riding it and you flowing with the roller coaster right, but then let's say you done made it halfway through the roller coaster. Now the movies that you done watched and all these mishaps that happens with roller coasters starts crossing through your spiritual realm. But now you got to keep your faith and stay solid on the roller coaster so that way you don't freak yourself out. You know you cannot make the roller coaster crash but you can put your body in a hyperventilated state to where you know it's just getting all discombobulated so it's a lot of analogies and things that we can put hand in hand together to show you know we got to be willing to trust the people more that we see moving in god's light not the ones that's pretending ah you got a lot of pretenders it's a lot of pretenders and, and you could say the pretenders are the false prophets and, and false prophets aren't, aren't just only the people who are in the churches and in these cathedrals talking. False prophets are the, the ones who are walking that demonic way of lifestyle but preaching the other side. That's a false prophet. If somebody's trying to talk you into doing some demonic shit but putting some special sauce on top of it to make it sound or feel more better or more fruitful huh that's a false prophet trust me we can always make excuses for a lot of things out here but then you gotta place your excuse